Hello guys, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, so welcome to the part 5 of this mathematics preparation question and answer for this oncoming work examination. Likely mathematics question that you may find in this sort oncoming work examination. And this is the part 5. And this is the first question I have for you. We have two, we have two questions for this part 5. This is the first question I have for you, and second question will be very soon. So we have to watch this video to the end because every explanation in this video is very what useful. Don't skip. Just give this video watch to the button end. So if the first time this is my channel or watching my video, I do share a video like this. Do well to subscribe, like, and turn the notification button. Thank you for doing that. Okay, without wasting our time, let's dive into what our today business. The second question. And this is what this is the first question I have for you today. And this question states that the PQ in PQR, the angle PQR, we have the angle PQR is called to 90 degree. If its area is equal to 216, Centimeter square and P side PQ ratio PR is got to which is got to three ratio four. Find the side of PR. So you want to find our side of PR. PR is what I'm from. And we are giving our area to be scored to two one six centimeter what square. And in this interpretation, we have three angle. This is three angle PQR. And this angle they have declared as so the angle is called what 90 degree. So it means they are talking about right angle triangle here. So here, first thing to consider is to what interpret it, the, the angle. This is what right angle triangle. We have the right angle triangle, and this angle here is what 90 degree. So it means that what and they indicate as what the angle at center is called to what? That's what they indicate what this 90. This nine, this cube is indicated at what the angle at what at this center now because we have three angle. This angle at center is called what 90 degree. So here we have Q here as what 90 degree. This we have P. This we have what R. This is our angle Q. This what is 90 degree. This angle Q. This angle P. This is what angle R. So in this place now we are given this two ratio. P R. I mean P Q and what and R and P R and Q R. And keep our uh, rather as a ratio of what three ratio what four. So before we have this now, let's find the sum of what the two ratio. So in answer, uh, let the sum of these two ratio we have PQ ratio we have QR is equal to let it be as we have let it be we have Q, Q um, PQ plus R. Q R multiplied by S. Let the sum of it multiply by S. So here we have PQ is called to 4. It's called to 3 plus 4. S multiply by what? S. We give it 3 plus 4, give 7. Multiply by this one, give us at S. So let's find the ratio for each. The ratio, the ratio of P Q. We have what? This PQ is meant for what? This 3. That's 3 over the total ratio, which is what? 3 plus 4. That gives what? 7. Multiplied by this total ratio, that is 7S. S cancel this. 7 cancel 7. We have what? S here. S times 3. We have what? 3 what? S. The same thing goes to what? The second side. That's what? Q what? R. That gives us 4 over 7. Multiplied by 7S equal to this cancels this. That's 7 cancels 7. 7, 4 times. 4 times s, then give us 4 what s. So it means that this side PR, PR, I mean QR, we have 4 s here. PQ, we have 3 what s here. And here we have declared that they give us the sum, area of the vector, area of that rectangle is called what? 26. And here we have area of vector triangle. The formula is given that area of vector triangle is given area is equal to 1 over 2 times base times height. That is the formula for what? Area of what? Right angle triangle. And in this place, this is our height. This is our base. Where our B is equal to, we have 4 S. Where our H is equal to the height. We have 3 what? S. And our A is equal to what? 216 centimeter what? Square. So what we just do now, let's input our data to this place now. So now our data formula says that A, where A is 1, 6, 1 system, 2 system rather, is equal to 1 over 2, multiply by our base, which was 4s, multiply by our height, that's what 3 what s. 2 can go here, 1, 2 can go here, we have 2, we have 2s here, 
2s times 3s, that equals 6s squared. So here we have we have 2, 1, 6 times we have 6 is equal to, sorry, because of 6 over s squared. So now let's divide both sides by 1. We, we are working toward this s. So let's have the equation of s squared, which is what we have 6. Here we have 6. 6 can 6 here. We have our s squared is equal to s squared is equal to 6 here 1. 6 into 16, you have 30, what? 6, right? You have 36. You have 36. So in order to get this s now, to make this s as a formula now, you need to take the square roots of what? both sides. Take the square root of both sides. So this one comes to this. We have our s is equal to root 36, we have our 6. So our s is called the word 6 now. So to get the, to get the actual size of what? This p and q. To get the side of this k of q. So we have our side p, q is equal to 3s. And our s is what? 6. Thank you for 3 times what? 6. Which is given as what? 18. Which is given as what? 18. So this side is what? 18. For the second side here, we have q out is equal to 4 what? s. We have 4 times our s is what? 6. That gives us 4 times 6. That is 24. So this side we have 24 here. So now our question has to calculate this side now. So we want to get what this side. That is what? p out. Not the okay, B R. And if you remember the same, we are given two sides of right angle triangle. So you have this theorem, Pythagoras theorem, which say that the largest side of right angle triangle, the square of larger side of right angle triangle, is equal to the sum of what? It's, it's equal to the sum of square of all that two parts of the other two sides of right angle triangle. We say that square of this, square of the left side, this is the left side, is equal to sum of this. That is, that is uh, some of the we have p q square plus we have q out everything was square f the square and here we have our p q our p q is given as what 18 where our q out is given as 24 so our p out is equal to p q we have 18 what square plus q out we have 24 what square so here 18 squared, that's 18 times 18. So it's giving us here we have p. Let me do it like this. So I have a mistake. Here we have p r square is equal to 18 times 18. We give our theory 24 plus 24 times 24. That is 576. Yeah, 576. So theory 24 plus 576. P r everything was square is equal to neon verge. This for this, well, that is what nail did. So now, you know, to, you know to get a what, our PQ and you take what, you take what, the square root of both sides to count this, square root of both sides, this one plus this, our P, our now is equal to square root of nail then we have our 30. So definitely now, our side here, P, R is what, is 30, is 30 meter. So it's 30. So this is solution what, for this what, first question of this part five. Welcome to question two of this part 5. This is the second question for this part 5. So the question is that the present age of man and his son are 47 and 17 years old respectively. How many, how, in how many years would the man age be twice that of his son? So this is what what problem question. This is very simple to interpret. So what we just do here now, the question asks how many years of the man Man A B twice of his son. Let it be what? Let's represent that word as what? S. Let's represent that one as S. Let's represent the statement. How many years would be man A B twice of what? Of that of his son. Let's represent that word at S. You can represent by any letter. But let me explain what was at S. So now let's say the age. The age in S, yes. S, yes, time. Yes, time is equal to the man age. The man age is equal to the present age, which is what? 47 plus the n years time. That is what? S. Plus this what? S years time. That is S. The same thing goes to the sum. That is 17 plus what? S. Hmm? The age of this sum will be in S years time. It's called this. The question says that 
how many years will the man age be twice that of the son? This is the new age. So me and with the equal to this man, the new age, the new age of this man is equal to twice. It's called the twice of the age of what? Of the or it's called the twice of what? Of the age of the son. So this one be what the man age. The man is equal to twice of what? Of son. So our man is equal to what? Forty-seven plus s equal to. We have two into brackets. We have seventy plus what? X. That is what the new age of what? Of the son. So in this way, let's open this bracket. We have forty-seven plus s equal to two times seventeen. Is given as what thirty four two times s we have plus what two or s. So here let's collect the like time. So when you collect the like time, we have forty seven minus thirty four is equal to let's say you have twenty you have two s. This one to what minus what s. This minus this give us thirteen is equal to this minus this give us s. So our s is equal to what thirteen. So the age. Of the man will be twice of his data is called what? 13 what? Yes. It's called 30 yes. So that is the how to solve of this question. This solution for this question. And if you have any question by the end of this video, you can let me know in the comment section. So that is the question I have for you today. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and subscribe the button. And if you need the past question for this 2021, 2021 mathematics web past question, you can let me know in the comment section.